New tonight, a disturbing story out of Richmond's museum district. A search is underway for an alleged peeping Tom exposing himself in people's windows. Eight News reporter Autumn Childress is live from the neighborhood and Autumn, these neighbors say they don't feel safe. Well, certainly a concerning situation for folks here in this museum district. They've dubbed this person the quote neighborhood creep. Now they want others to be on the lookout until this person is caught. Disturbing video out of Richmond tonight showing this man going window to window with his pants down. He's been dubbed the neighborhood creep by people like Isabel Cook who've come face to face with him. I noticed that there is a man masturbating uh, by the wall with a view directly into my living room window. She says two weeks ago she heard a tap at her window on Hanover Avenue. Since then, several encounters with the same peeping Tom. I went around again to the back door and looked out and then saw that it was the same man who was once again masturbating. Um, and at that point I knew it was targeted and intentional. She's now set up security cameras and gotten a clear view of his face, but says even that hasn't stopped him. This is where he was going up to these bricks and looking in. Grace Hall lives nearby and says she too has gotten the same taps on her window. She's even heard reports from neighbors that he's left a note on their door and tried to get in. It's really like deeply disturbing. Um, I, I haven't been able to sleep properly. Richmond police say they are investigating, but Cook and Hall say they filed reports, given them evidence and even called 911, but no one showed up. That aspect of it has been really scary, knowing that even if we do call 911, which is what we were told to do, that it might not actually be very helpful. The neighbors have now started a group chat and sent out a security alert on social media. Their goal now is to get the so-called neighborhood creep from peeping in their window. I hope that he gets help. Like you have to just be in a, you have to be really sick. Now, of course, if you have any information about who this person could be, you are urged to call Richmond police. We do have that information on WRIC.com. Reporting live tonight in Richmond, Autumn Childress, 8 News.